we call that if you have a first order differential equation and you have homogeneous functions, M and N are homogeneous of degree alpha, then we can use the substitution like V equals to Y over X or U equals to Y over X and transform this differential equation into a separable differential equation. For example, consider x squared plus y squared dx plus x squared minus xy dy equal to zero. This is a homogeneous differential equation because both m and n are homogeneous functions of degree two. So we're going to use substitution u equals to y over x or y is ux. Taking the differential of both sides, dy is u dx plus x d. In the next step, we're going to do the substitution. Wherever we see y, we're going to use ux. So x squared stays the same, plus y squared is now u squared x squared. dx stays the same, plus x squared minus, instead of y, you're going to use ux, u x times x becomes ux squared, and dy is just this combination u dx plus x du. On the right hand side, it is just zero. Now we're going to do a little bit of algebra. We're going to distribute x squared minus ux squared into the bracket. This becomes x squared plus u squared x squared dx plus x squared minus ux squared times ux dx plus x squared minus ux squared times x du on the right hand side you have a zero. Now you have x squared dx plus u squared dx. You have x squared u dx minus u squared x squared dx plus x cubed du minus u x cubed du equal to zero. Can we simplify this further? We can look for the opposite terms. For example, you have u squared x squared, and you have negative u squared x squared dx. You can cancel out those two. If we simplify this further, we get x squared parentheses 1 plus u dx plus x cubed 1 minus u du equal to 0. In the next stop, we're going to see that we can convert this into a separable differential equation. Take a look. Let us divide everything by x cubed times 1 plus u. Why is that? Because we can cancel out 1 plus u. And here, you can cancel out x cubed. And on the other side, you have 0 divided by this quantity. It simplifies into the x divided by x plus 1 minus u divided by 1 plus u du equal to 0. Now, we're going to do the long division or simplify our fraction 1 minus u divided by 1 plus u to simplify this further. I'm going to write 1 as 2 minus 1. In a bit, you see what's happening here. I'm taking negative 1 minus u, and then I'm going to factor out negative sign. So it ends up with negative 1 plus u plus 2 divided by 1 plus u du plus dx over x equal to 0. You're basically forming a fraction, and you can divide this into two separate fractions. It becomes negative 1 plus u divided by 1 plus u, which is negative 1, plus 2 over 1 plus u du, plus dx over x equal to 0. So now that you have a separable differential equation, you can start taking the integral of both sides. The integral of negative 1 is negative u. The integral of 2 divided by 1 plus u is 2 times ln of absolute value of 1 plus u plus the integral of dx over x is ln of absolute value of x and on the right hand side the integral of 0 becomes ln of absolute value of c. I write it this way so you can 
write this in nicer form in terms of the absolute value. So negative u, which was basically y over x plus 2 ln of 1 plus u, which is 2 ln of absolute value of 1 plus y over x plus ln of absolute value of x equals to ln of absolute value of c, which is the resubstitute u equals to y over x. Wherever we saw u, we used y over x to write the solution in terms of x and y. Now, if you simplify this further, you can basically take common denominator here, and then since you have 2 ln of absolute value of x plus y divided by x, we would complete these by adding these two lns and multiply the terms. Or in general, you can write it in implicit form, x plus y to the second power equals to cx e to the power y divided by x. And this is the solution for the differential equation that we introduced at the beginning of the example.